Everyone's heard of the Appletini, but this drink has a little bit of a checkered history. So versions from the past, which I hope stay in the past, are tooth decayingly sweet, really weirdly sour, and don't have any real apple natural flavor to speak of. But it doesn't have to be this way. The Appletini can be an amazing drink, and today I'm gonna to show you three versions inspired by the Appletini, one classic, one with coffee, and one contemporary. So welcome to Appletini, classic coffee contemporary. So for our classic Appletini today, we're still gonna be using a fairly modern take on the Appletini. We're not gonna be using any apple sours, which is actually the first thing I ever got a hangover on, fun fact. We're gonna be using really delicious natural ingredients, including Avalen Planet Positive Calvados, who are actually sponsoring this video, good quality apple juice, lemon juice, cane sugar syrup, and an apple. And this is a really simple drink to put together. So this is Avalen's kind of go-to hero drink for the year, and I really like it. So these aren't my specs, but I do fully endorse them. So we're gonna go four parts of our Calvados, which I'll talk about more later. But this is made with apples, of course. 40 mils. We're gonna go three parts of good quality apple juice. I'm going with 30 mils. We're gonna freshly squeeze 20 mils of lemon juice. This will bring our acidity and our kind of vibrancy to really make the apple pop. So two parts or 20 mils. And then one part or 10 mils of a two to one sugar syrup. So I'm using morning cane sugar syrup here, but you could use a white sugar. You could even use a light brown sugar, which would bring a little bit more richness to the drink. But I think this works really well. It's kind of sweet and sour, really heroes the apple in the drink. And then you want to give this a really good shake with ice. Because we've got flecks of ice in the drink, we want to fine strain this to get a really nice smooth but lively texture. And then to garnish, it's gonna take a little slice of apple from a Brayburn. I'm a Brayburn guy, but you can use your favorite type of apple. I'm gonna go three slices onto a skewer. And there we have our classic apple teeny. Four, three, two, one. Delicious. So now we've made Avalen's delicious four, three, two, one specs for the Appletini, which is a really good starting point. We're gonna start riffing on the Appletini and make two versions. A coffee forward version, which is gonna be inspired by the espresso martini, and then a more contemporary version, which I'll talk about later. But before we do that, I just wanna talk about today's amazing sponsor, which is Avalen. So Avalen is a planet positive spirit made from just three things, apples, water, and time. So Avalyn's co-founder, Tim Etherington Judge, is a good friend of mine. He's from the same part of the world that I'm from. And he explained the entire mission of the business. And that's to create the most sustainable possible spirit from blossom to bottle. And they started their journey by asking what's the best ingredient to make alcohol from in terms of climate control, biodiversity, water consumption, pesticide, and fertilizer use. Their answer was the traditionally grown apples of Normandy. In terms of the process, this is really simple, really natural. The apples are simply washed, chopped, juiced, and then left to ferment for up to two months. This is then distilled in a traditional single column still. After that, the liquid rests for six months in French oak bats before being aged for two to three years in casks. The result is this incredible Calvados, which is really good for sipping, really good for mixing. And from a taste profile, you get really nice florals in there, loads of big apple flavors coming through and a really kind of crispy bite, which is really delicious. And it's quite rare to find a spirit that tastes like the base ingredient, which is made from. So this definitely does do that. You get loads of apple flavor. It's really delicious. And I do recommend giving this a try. Check out Avalen's website in the description below, where you can learn about all the incredible things they're doing and give this a try for yourself. So big thanks to Avalen for sponsoring this video. And let's make a coffee inspired apple teeny. Okay, so for our coffee inspired apple teeny, we're gonna be taking inspiration from both the espresso martini and my ultimate espresso martini template, which I'll put above, and also the flavor profile of a toffee apple, which is delicious, as I'm sure you all agree. So we're gonna be using really natural flavors to get that flavor profile, and we're gonna be starting with our espresso. So the coffee I've chosen has a really nice apple-y flavor. It's actually a washed gesher from Costa Rica, and the flavor profile is really delicious, kind of crunchy malic acidity, 
loads of green apple in there and some really subtle florals, but also some kind of big enough body to cut through the drink. This coffee is roasted by Lucid Coffee Roasters in Ireland, and I thought they're a really good pairing for the Avalon in the drink because they have amazing sustainability practices of their own, as well as delicious coffee, obviously. We're gonna go 40 mils of our delicious Avalon Calvados, which is gonna bring loads of delicious apple flavor to the drink, and then 15 mils of a homemade toffee apple syrup, which is actually really easy to make. So in there, we've got equal parts light muscovado sugar, dark muscovado sugar, and apple juice. I combined this in a pan, just warmed it really lightly to mix it all together, but not boil it, and then passed it into a bottle, ready to mix into the drink. We're gonna go one gram of saline solution, made with one part salt to five parts water. And everyone knows salt and toffee and kind of caramel work really nicely together. And our syrup tastes like toffee, tastes like caramel. So this is kind of bringing a little bit of a salted caramel flavor to the drink, but fundamentally toffee apple, a little bit of salt, really delicious pairing for the drink. Just before we shake the drink, I'm just gonna prep my garnish, which is gonna be a nice wedge of apple, which we're gonna dust in caster sugar and then caramelize. We're gonna shake the drink really hard over lots of ice. We're gonna fine strain into a chilled coupe glass and then garnish with our caramelized apple. And there we have our apple espresso martini, inspired by the flavors of toffee apple. So last but not least, we're gonna make our contemporary apple teeny. And as you may know, apple teeny is short for apple martini, but this doesn't really mean it's a martini as such. It's more of an 80s drink where all drinks were kind of called a martini, even if they were nothing like a classic martini. So a classic martini tends to be really spirit forward and often quite dry, but an apple teeny historically is very sweet. You can barely even taste the alcohol in there. So we're not looking for that in this drink. We're gonna go much more spirit forward and really kind of refined in our drink. And a recent trend has been to create these freezer door martinis. So you can have a martini whenever you want to. You just build it in the bottle, whack it in the freezer, pour it out whenever you're ready, and you've got a perfect martini every single time. And we're gonna create an apple version of that, which has really nice nutty notes, kind of dry apple. And if you think more towards a Granny Smith, there's drier, kind of crisper, more acidic notes, rather than the sweeter notes of something like a Braeburn or a Pink Lady. So they're the flavors we're looking for. So to make our freezer door apple martini, it's actually really easy to do. You can just build it in the bottle or in a big glass and decant it back into the bottle. And I'm going with a four to one ratio of spirit to our fortified wine. So for this, I'm gonna go with 400 grams of our Avalon Calvados. I'm gonna go 100 grams of a Manzanilla Sherry, which brings really nice dry nutty notes to the drink. But you could also use a sweeter sherry if you want a sweeter drink. And then we're also gonna go for a 20% dilution. But historically, people have used water for this, which is completely fine. But I wanna get those nutty notes through even further. And this is gonna be using coconut water as our dilution. Finally, to really push through that nutty bitterness, which is really nice in the drink, brings out a little bit of the sherry flavor, complements the apple flavor. I'm gonna go 20 dashes of a black walnut bitters. And this equates to around about 4.5 grams. You wanna decant this back into the bottle, put it in the freezer for around about 12 hours before serving. And you'll end up with this incredible viscous, martini style drink, which has really delicious flavor notes for apple, walnut, and those really nice, very subtle coconut notes with what I consider to be a perfect ratio of spirit to fortified wine and also dilution. You wanna pour this into a frozen martini glass or a coupe glass, and this will give you around about six to seven servings. You're gonna garnish with a really nice green apple fan, and there we have a very contemporary freezer door apple martini. Delicious. So first of all, we had our delicious apple teeny per the Avalon specs, four, three, two, one, which is super delicious, loads of apple flavor coming through, very smashable, to be honest, which you could drink loads of these really easily, but drink responsibly, obviously. Had kind of sweet and sour notes, but the apple really came through as the hero. And then we had the espresso martini inspired drink with those delicious toffee apple notes, creamy texture without adding any cream to the drink, thanks to that really hard shake. And now we've got our freezer door martini style apple martini, which we can taste. So Avalon is the star of the show here. Loads of apple flavor. The walnut and coconut come through really nicely. They just kind of underpin it. This is not a sweet drink whatsoever. You could use a sweeter sherry to get more sweetness if you wanted, but this is definitely a spirit forward drink and really, really good. Really nice and cold. Apple, nuts, sherry. This is a really nice variation on the martini. 
So make sure you give these drinks a go. They're all completely different whilst maintaining the DNA of an Appletini. And if you enjoyed this, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And you can see more classic coffee contemporary videos by clicking just here. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.